Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sylvia, the Crafty Old Lady. <clears throat> Today, <clears throat> I wanted to document some things for Mother's Day. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to cut out a frame <clears throat> with this paper here. I think I'll guess I'll do it this way. And not always easy to get these spaced properly. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I have to put it in between them. So, here we go. Usually I do try to, and I think I will this time, put a little washi tape so that they will be held still and not move when I move the, move it all. <laughs> so, I think that's looking pretty good. It's so hard to get perfect. In fact, you'll never get it perfect. So, so this is what we're doing. Okay. Now we put this one on top. And we crank it through. Now I'm going to roll it back. And then we'll see how it came out. And that is looking pretty good. I bought some native plants last year, and I bought some this year too. But I was very happy to see that my forget-me-nots came back this year. I didn't know if they would, but I was so happy when they came back. And so I'm going to just glue these onto this paper here. Oops. <laughs> Let's see. I guess either way is as good as the anyway. We're going to glue that down. And then there's another little one right here. Oops. Hope this works. I see, already see like gunk on it. Oh my gosh. I need a little more glue here. And what I wanted to, thought I could do, usually I just cover it with um, like packing, packaging tape. Let's go ahead and just use the tape, just like that. And then I'll put the frame over it. Oops, probably have to cut that off now. But that looks pretty good. I'm going to frame it with this and cut off the excess. So it's just, just almost perfectly fits except for right here. What I think I'll do is I'll just mark where I need to cut it off and then I'm going to f glue the frame right down to the page that I'm putting this on. That I actually don't know what page I'm putting this on yet or what, how I'm going to put that in the book yet. So let's get the book. So I am going to glue this right down to this page. This was a Mother's Day card from my husband. So what I think I'm going to do is put the flower right here. So let's go ahead and glue this down. We got some more native plants this year, so I'm getting quite a collection. But my goal, my very favorite thing that I want to get, and the most important thing to me to get, is a Virginia rose bush. I would love one of those. And I found a the DEC sells them. You got to get like a hundred of them, and they're only five inches. And I just don't know what I do with a hundred. Let's 
get glue on this frame and then I'm going to put a label Oops. right around this that looks really pretty there we go and then I'll get a little blue label to tell you know what it is and the date Okay, so I decided on a yellow label and I just wrote forget-me-nots 523. So I have this Mother's Day card also and this has got all this extra like pages that we can use to write on or put pictures on and I do have two pictures here um, and so I think I'm going to glue it onto this side even though it seems more likely to do it on that side. Well, yeah, I guess I will. I'll glue it onto this side. I didn't write down Mother's Day on anything, but I think we can tell it's Mother's Day by the cards. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Okay, so on this page, I have these things that I want to put on here, uh, if I can fit them all. So this is a picture of my granddaughter and uh, her family. My son is her dad. Um, they sent me some honey from the Middle East. And um, I thought I would put like a little pocket for this. And then her picture up here. And it's pro so appropriate on this page actually I just thought about because their gift was honey and there's bees all over the page. So I'm gonna make this a little smaller. I might put this on the outside of the pocket. And this will go in the pocket and then we'll put her picture right up there. So that's that, and then this is a tag from a wind chime that my other son got me, and they also got me this sticker book. So I thought I would do something like that and decorate with the stickers. Okay, so I decided on this paper, which I thought, I think they're bees. <laughs> it could be flies, but I think they're bees. So we're going to put that on as our pocket. And a glop of glue there. And we'll put that like that. And on top of that, I'm going to just put this here. So I don't want to cover the bees. So I'll put that there. And I did double-sided tape for that. So, oh, look it. There was a little glue on my finger, and look at what it did. See? That is so weird. So, I'm going to put this in here like this. That's the tag. And then I'm going to put... Where, where did my granddaughter's picture go? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to put her picture right up here. And I think I'll do that with double-sided tape also. So there's that spread. And I will go back over these when we're when I'm all done. I still have this one. I think I'm gonna use a little tiny library card pocket that I've already made for that. All right, so I found this little um, pocket, library card pocket that I made a long time ago. It's sort of like that craft paper with some gold embossing. So I'm gonna put that right there like that. I thought it matched well with the craft paper tag. Hopefully it fits, yep. <laughs> and so we'll do that. And now I'm just going to flip through here and pick out some stickers to put on. Um, I could do a flip through of this book someday if you want. You can put that down in the comments. Here's some flowers. Let's put this one. Um, one of the video ideas I was thinking about doing is a backyard tour of our backyard living space. I thought that might be fun. So I think I'll just put that right there. Uh, if you want to see a tour of our little urban backyard, uh, let me know. We have vegetable gardens and flowers and I'm very proud of all my brand new um, native plants to help the critters survive for my children and grandchildren. Um, yeah, if you would like to see a, an urban backyard tour, uh, let me know. We have one of the biggest backyards in our city, so that's kind of neat. 
Anyway, let's look through the spread now. So here is the first card from my husband with the forget-me-nots. It's, it's shiny now. Here, there we go. And then we turn the page and we that has the tag from the gift. This tag from the Amazon and then my granddaughter's picture. And then this is a card from our other son. And I put the tag from the gift and then the sticker from the gift. And that's it for our Mother's Day spread. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see what I was just talking about. <laughs> Have a great day and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.